let's learn about the basics of microsoft excel to open microsoft excel go to start menu and type excel excel if you're using windows 10 you can directly type excel here because uh, there is a search box available uh, or if you are using older version of windows uh, like windows 8 8.1 and all you can do the same but in case of windows 7 uh, you can use this run dialog box win key plus by pressing win key plus r key and you can type excel e x c e l so it will open you microsoft excel now some might be using older version of microsoft excel like office 2007 or office 2010 but now we have a latest version of microsoft excel as well like excel 2019 and office 365 there is not much difference between the older version of uh, microsoft excel and uh, this office 365 version yeah some extra features have been added as well which will help you to perform a lot of multiple tasks which is uh, especially helpful for the entrepreneurs uh, as you can see here this is the home page when you open microsoft excel and uh, it will show you a lot of options like home new open account etc and you can see blank workbook if so if you want to create a new workbook you have to click blank workbook option or if you want to use any other templates you can see a lot of templates given online templates you can use those templates as well so now no need to use templates uh, this uh, no need this is some extra options you can just skip it so click on blank workbook option so when you click uh, blank workbook option it will open you a spreadsheet like this so I know all of you might be aware of this spreadsheet thing. Uh, this is the same spreadsheet format which is available in all the version of Microsoft Excel, be it uh, 2007 or 2010 or so on. So today, uh, since it is the first day of our class, uh, we are going to learn some tips and tricks on how to use multiple sheets effectively. Since many of you, when you are using uh, in your office or in school to create some mark list and all, most of the data are in similar format. Like for example, when you are creating mark list of students, uh, there are certain formats uh, which is available for mark list like name, internal markings, pen and paper, test marks, homework, classwork mark or project mark, whatever. So those things we used to type in the title. And those things are same for all the sheets or for all the subjects. So when you're typing in a single sheet, uh, when you type something, those data is in a single sheet, you will type only in one sheet. And again, some people, those who are not aware, what they will do is they create another sheet and they type all those data. So you don't have to create all those data again and again. So you can save your time by either copying those sheets or you can also select multiple sheets and whatever you type in the source sheet the same will appear in the next sheet as well so that's what we are going to learn in today's class so shall we start now so to type any data you can use any sheet i'm not going to type the whole thing i'm going to type uh, just a rough format of this so I can select any cell. So the same way, depending upon your uh, your flexibility, you can use any cell and you can type all these data. So now when I'm entering all these data, these data, whatever I'm typing here will appear only for this sheet. Now when I create new sheet, you can see here sheet two is appearing. So these things will not appear in sheet two. Sheet two will be somewhere completely blank. So there are two ways for you to copy the same data if you need if you are in need of this same format again in another sheet you can use two options either you can copy this sheet or you can select the other sheet and whatever you type here the same thing will appear there so how to copy this sheet first let's learn about this if you want to copy a sheet i mean whatever the data which you have typed in the first sheet the same thing as it is if you want in another sheet that's when you will use copy so right click on the sheet option there is an option called move and copy so click on this and select create copy option 
when you click OK, so it will copy you all this data which was present in the previous sheet. So it will create a new copy of the other of the same sheet. You can also rename the sheet if you want just by right click on the name and uh, select rename option and you can give any other name for this sheet like uh, so if you have typed this mark list for maths so you can type here as maths so it saves your time instead of typing those things again and again this is one format uh, for example whatever the data which you have typed mm, similar data is so not all the thing which is present in this sheet if you want to copy you want to copy only a selected portion of this sheet so what you can do is you can select multiple sheets while typing and when you type in one sheet the same will appear in other sheets as well so this saves lot of your time instead of typing the same thing again and again in all the sheets so what you have to just do is you have to press shift button and click on the other sheet so you can see here in the below multiple sheets are selected oh, i'm typing something here joe john whatever i want to type i can type here so whatever i'm typing here will not only appear in this first sheet it will also appear in the sheet which you have selected so it depends upon the sheet which you have selected it will not appear in the sheet which you have not selected now sheet 2 i have not selected so whatever i have typed here will not appear in sheet 2 uh, now if you want this thing to appear in sheet 2 as well means you have to again press shift button and click on that option sheet 2 and you can just continue typing uh, ashfa or whatever Ikram. so whatever i'm typing these datas will also appear in sheet one as well as sheet two. Now you can see here when I select only sheet one, so all the data, all the names which you have typed in first sheet appears. And in sheet two also, you can see only the names is appearing. So here I am not, uh, I don't require all the other formats which is available above. I want only the names. So while typing the names alone, what I have done, I have selected the sheet two. So whatever I'm typing in the first sheet or in the source sheet, those data alone will appear in the sheet too. So that's the difference between copying a sheet and merging the data or uh, duplicating the same data or making it appear in the other sheets. So this will save a lot of your time when you're typing huge amount of data. Not only that, even if you're typing any numbers or even if you are using formulas, the same formula, if you want them to appear in the other sheets, the same method you can use and whatever you're typing here, be it any number like 40, 10, five, whatever. Now I'm using any formula also. Say for example, if I want to add this, I'm using is equal to sum bracket open. So whatever I want to calculate, I can select it back close so it will appear answer here not only for this sheet it will also appear in other sheet as well so you can just repeat the same thing so when you go to sheet 2 you can see here whatever the data i typed here the same thing again appears in the sheet 2 as well so again if you want to type the numbers for other datas i can type and i can just simply drag and drop the formula so the formula will appear I mean the values will appear based on those values which I have typed. Now the same thing will appear in the sheet 2 as well. Now here if you want to change any data in between also you can do it. So it saves a lot of your time. So you can see here when I am changing the data automatically the formula the values which is present in the formula will also change. So instead of uh, typing a new values again and again in a new sheet you can save your time by using multiple sheet selection option and whatever you type here will appear in the other sheets as well so this is one of the tips and tricks for making your work easier in microsoft x so that's all for today so we'll learn some other new topics in the next class till then see ya